A long time ago, a smart but maybe not so safe Ben Franklin flew his kite in a thunderstorm to demonstrate his theory that lightning was really electricity. He was right. Today, we know a lot more about electricity, of course. And while most everyday use of electricity is safe, we should be aware of potential everyday hazards to ourselves and to others we work with. For example, that extension cord you've got is not what it appears to be. See those frayed wires where the cord goes into the plug? That could give you a painful and possibly dangerous shock or start a fire. What should you do? First, if you see a cord, tool, or piece of machinery that has frayed or exposed wiring, do not use it or even plug it in, period. Next, make sure coworkers aren't hurt by the faulty equipment. Either remove it from service or put a warning notice on it. Finally, tell a supervisor so repairs can be made or the faulty equipment taken out of service permanently. Unfortunately, every year, hundreds of U.S. workers are killed and thousands more are injured by fires, burns, and shocks caused by workplace electrical hazards. The shocking fact is that, according to an industry study, electrocution is the sixth leading cause of workplace fatalities across the U.S. Knowing that, let's go over some tips to help you work more safely around electricity. First, always inspect tools and equipment before you plug them in or turn them on. Be sure to inspect the cord and the plug of any power tool you use, looking for frayed or exposed wiring. The next safety tip involves working near water. If your power tools or electrical equipment are outside or within six feet of any water source, you should only plug into a ground fault interrupter or GFI outlet and never touch an outlet if you yourself are wet or standing in any water. Another important safety tip when working with electricity is to remove any metal jewelry. That's because even the smallest bit of metal can conduct electricity right into your body. Our number four pro tip, no metal ladders. Whenever you work with electric tools or near electric outlets, you should only use a fiberglass or wooden ladder. And finally, before making any repairs that involve an electrical tool or appliance, even changing a light bulb, always make sure the power to that device is turned off. Okay, let's go over what we learned about electrical safety. One, inspect any electrical tool or machinery for broken or frayed wiring before you use it. And make sure the third or ground prong on any plug is intact. Two, any electrical outlet within six feet of water must be a GFI type of outlet. Three, remove any metal jewelry or accessory that can conduct electricity. Four, use only fiberglass or wooden ladders near electricity, never metal. And five, always make sure the power is turned off to any device or tool before you make repairs. Finally, if you have any questions or concerns about a tool or electrical equipment at your work, talk to your supervisor immediately. After all, you're not alone in the pursuit of safety in the workplace. Everything you can do, every step you take, can help keep you and your coworkers safe to go home to your families at the end of the day. For more tips to help you work safely on the job, plug into the many resources available at Montana State Fund.